Mm, interesting. Yeah, that kind of brings about uh, the whole aspect of biohackers, because biohackers cares mostly about their energy level, you know, Correct. how well their brains function, mm-hmm. how long they're going to live, right? So right. what about uh, performance? Um, have you guys noticed that um, any athletes are really liking Methylene Blue and thinking it's help- helpful? They're, uh, you know, to, to talk a little bit on, on products. So Methylene Blue, as long as it's Methylene Blue, and it's really a pharmaceutical grade, methylene blue they're pretty equal across the board that's that's methylene blue it's what you do with the methylene blue so one of our products we've been using um, for athletes professional athletes is a combination of our l-theanine and caffeine which Mm -hmm. actually our caffeine speeds up to slow down this is one of the ones that um, dr warner is talking about for you know we really are people are using for replacement of other other medication that's out there um but we're speeding up to slow down. But what happens is we're actually gaining that energy. But in the long run, we're getting longer ATP and you know production. And so it's been great for performance, for energy, endurance. Athletes are feeling it. Um, as Dr. Warner's talking about with, with diet, you're now getting into your natural ATP production, burning your natural sugars and your fats, which are even a better source of energy. So you feel more uh, really be able to say, I just feel good. I don't feel like I have to eat uh, because I'm now getting that endurance and that energy. So mm-hmm. people are feeling that both in just uh, on, on their weight loss that they're doing it with, or just really in af- athletes. We've been doing that, like I said, for, you know, almost uh, nine years now with the uh, combination of caffeine, alphenine with the kicker of the methylene blue, absolutely mm-hmm. fantastic for that. So you yeah. definitely feel that. And it's so a long term product. That's a product called ADHD, right? I don't that's know what correct. it stands for, but it's definitely good for ADHD. It is. Um, it's, it's that's the one that got a lot of people defense. off Adderall. Yeah. Understand? Correct. Yeah. Correct. So but that is also the one that's popular for sports and for probably appetite control. Sounds correct. like. Yes. Yeah. So and maybe- when you when you think about it, it makes total sense. Well, the other thing too is that. People that are have long, long uh, hauler, well, COVID long haulers or things of that nature, or say, for example, they've got to Epstein Bar or they've got, you know, anything that's that's holding them down, energy problems, right? Or even though we have a lot of people with neuropathy that just they don't feel they can get up and go. Well, by taking that, you're getting brain and body energy is really what I call it. So we're getting the energy so that the brain feels good. But our body also has energy so we can actually get up and function and do things and get the body to its point where it's now actually out of that misfunction and actually into function for ATP production. So, again, it only makes sense if we can give the body what it needs and burns right. We have better energy. Um, and, and, of course, we're using our our stored energy or our sugars that we're eating to burn. So it, it makes total sense why we have, you know, endurance and long-term energy. 